So now we have an NPN bipolar junction transistor right there, emitter base collector. And we need more light to turn the transistor off. So I'm going to get the side of the flashlight right there. And there you can see it turn off. We can also uh, flash it. So that's a way you can copy a flash that you like. Put a light dependent resistor in front of it. Have it turn the transistor on and off. Um, I can also move the uh, lamp closer and then dim it. Um, but the flashlight's a little easier to see, I think. But in any case, we get enough uh, light on the light dependent resistor. It pulls the base voltage below about 0.6 volts or so. Then the transistor turns off. Um, when we get it uh, dark enough, well, it's already dark enough. Never mind. We got that pull up resistor right there, bringing it above uh, 0.6 volts because this is not connecting to ground as well. And um, therefore, we have a little bit of base to emitter current. It's going to allow a lot more collector to emitter current, enough to light an LED. So now, here we have the schematic diagram for NPN bipolar junction transistor that's either on or off based on light level for the most part. And uh, so I'm using a 2N3904 in my example circuit. But in case, we get a bright enough light on here the resistance will probably get down to like 200 ohms of resistance or something, you know, much less than that 10K right there. So we got a pretty good connection to ground and thus the transistor turns off. It's below 0.6 volts for the most part. If we get it uh, dark enough, like we cover it and everything, we'll get millions of ohms of resistance, but we don't need to go to that extreme. Just be aware, we got that range. But in any case, um, if it's uh, dark enough, then this is not conducting as well. And thus we get a pull up. Uh, resistor here being able to put current through the base to emitter above 0.6 volts that's the main thing a little bit of base to emitter current allows the load turn on i just used a red led protected by 220 ohms so now we come back to the schematic to look at another important topic so we have a light dependent resistor here if you got it out in sunlight or whatever it's going to get close to like zero ohms of resistance and uh, i haven't done that test but it gets pretty low even if i get a really bright flashlight on there and uh, so we have a uh, kind of a short circuit from the base to ground right there which would be a problem if current was going to pass through in that case. Um, I mean, current will go through that 10K resistor, but we have 10K of resistance. But it's always safe to put a light dependent resistor on the emitter side of a bipolar junction transistor because current does not flow through the collector. Sometimes you might put the collector directly to the positive supply. Even if you did, it doesn't flow from collector to base. The transistor is made to not do that. It only lets current flow from base to emitter right there and collector to emitter. So you're safe not having to put any other resistance in series with the light dependent resistor in order to try to limit current. So now we have an NPN bipolar junction transistor. I'm using the 2N3904. That's emitter base collector right there. And we have this uh, previous video. We had to get it bright enough to turn the LED off. If I would have made it darker, the LED would have stayed on. Now we have it where I make it darker and the LED turns off. Now I turn it on the light on and the LED turns on. So we have the light dependent resistor headed to the positive supply with a 220 ohm uh, resistor. Now that's in relationship to the base right there um, because we risk short circuiting if we don't have that extra resistance and we get it bright enough, you know, it can get almost zero ohms of resistance. And then a pull down resistor, that's going to the negative supply right there. Be aware of that. Um, but in any case, uh, we get it uh, dark enough then the pull down resistor will turn the transistor off. Get it bright enough, then the light dependent resistor will turn the transistor on. And we have a simple LED load. So now, here's the schematic diagram for the NPN bipolar junction transistor. I'm using a 2N3904 in my demonstration circuit, where if it's uh, dark enough, then the transistor turns off. You need some light to have it on. So we have the 10K resistor going to ground. So that has a tendency to turn the transistor off. We have a light dependent resistor though and a series 220 ohm resistor. That doesn't make a big difference unless uh, this got uh, almost zero ohms of resistance. But in any case, we have uh, that uh, resistance to the positive supply. When light's falling on it, it's uh, quite low compared to 10K. Now we have to get it, so the transistor will be on right there. So we have to get it pretty dark right there to drop below 0.6 volts right there. It's a voltage divider. And uh, that will ultimately turn the transistor off. So we have to get this circuit pretty dark to get the transistor to turn off. So now, here's a 
important thing to be aware of with bipolar junction transistors. They depend on current flowing base to emitter right there. The transistor doesn't limit that. It does have a diode drop, but that's it. And uh, so um, we have in series with the light dependent resistor there, 220 ohms, which we do not need on the low side, but we do need on the high side because we got the positive there. That's the direction that the current flows right there. And we just need a little bit of current. Um, that's not the issue really. So if we get a bright enough light, um, I have flashlights that got these light dependent resistors down to 60 ohms. Sunlight would probably bring it like lower. You got almost like a short circuit, uh, that path right there. So you just add some series resistance, then you always have a minimum resistance, no matter how bright it gets. Now sometimes there'll just be a resistor at the base, you know, that works as well. You may have both even, you know, no big deal. As long as you got enough resistance at the base to prevent a short circuit.